Hello. Hi, Maria. Hi, English Corporativo. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> My name is Jocelyn. You can call me Josie. Josie Navas. Okay, hello, Jocelyn. Oh, Hi. Josie. Yes, yes. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Um, Victor, we nice don't see you. you. Let's turn the cameras on. Thank you. Sandra, I don't see you. Just let me mute it, please. <laughs> okay, get ready. All right. See, oh, I see you, Sandra. Very good. That's better. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, awesome. How are you tonight? Hello, good evening. Good evening, welcome. How do you feel Thank tonight, you. guys? Very good. I don't listen very good. <laughs> you can hear well? Okay. Yes. Let me see your faces, your beautiful faces, please. Thank you. Awesome. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to meet you guys. I'm going to be your teacher. My name is Jocelyn Navas, but you can call me Josie, okay? So I'm happy with you. And I have some questions for you, okay? Let me see. Welcome to a new module and good job on completing all the other ones, completing uh, beginners, right? So my question is, are you guys on the WhatsApp group, everyone? Yes. No? Yes. yes, I am. Hmm, some of you aren't. Okay, uh, where is that link? Can you share, Javier, are you in the WhatsApp group? Yeah. Can you send me the link for WhatsApp, please? I'm gonna try to open it here. So guys, I will copy paste it here on Zoom so that you can click on it and access it, okay? Because I need everybody to go on WhatsApp right now. Give me one second. Uh -uh. Okay, probably the one. I think I have it. Oh, but you're sending it to WhatsApp. <laughs> They're not on WhatsApp right now. How do I copy paste this? Thank you. Can you send it here, Javier, here on Zoom? Pardon? Can you send the, the um, let me open the, it here. Hold on. No, because they're not on the WhatsApp group. That's the thing. Oh. One second. Okay, and how are you doing with the platform? You have access to it? Have you tried opening it? Is everybody on the platform? Hey, no, not yet. Not yet. Okay, I guess we're gonna access that together because that's the most important thing. All right, give me one second. Um, now there is a link on the sorry? chat for the, the I put the, the link to access uh, the WhatsApp group. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Here it is. Thank you, thank you very much. All right, guys, if you're not on the WhatsApp group. Click here, all right, so you can access and join it. All right, here it is. Yeah, I see some people are joining, that's good. Okay, now, do you have questions about the module, about the course? Maybe I'm gonna make a Spanish parenthesis, okay? Entonces, okay. quickly. Spanglish. <laughs> Spanish, only Spanish right now, and then oh, okay. everything will be in English, except the last class probably. I'll speak a little Spanish. Si no se me acaba. Okay, entonces tenemos todo que estar en WhatsApp. Y en caso que no, ya enviaron acá el, el link. Solo le dan click, le dan, le dan click. Okay. Y la otra es estar en la plataforma, que esa la vamos a accesar ya. ¿Quiénes ya accesaron la plataforma? Levanten así, la manita. Ajá. Yo, pocos. Todavía no, pero ya voy a entrar. 
ya voy. Ya casi. Ya ok, gusta. bien. Sí, hay que ingresar ahora. Okay. Dios santo. Así que si no lo han hecho, abran el, el, el correo con los links y eso, y ahí ingresan con su usuario. Porque vamos a empezar. Mm -hmm. Ya. No ok. Um, otra cosa que les pediría es, una vez estén dentro del grupo de WhatsApp, que me manden su nombre y apellido para registrarlos. Y eso es porque si ustedes no están en clase o algo, quisiera que me escriban y me digan qué pasa, ¿verdad? O, o por qué no van a estar ausentes. Si no, es probable que yo les escriba a ustedes, así en medio de la mm. clase, como por qué no. <ríe> ¿Quién está haciendo esos sonidos? <ríe> Ok, si no, yo les voy a escribir a ustedes porque no están en clase o qué les pasó. Así que mejor ustedes me avisan y hay que evitar a toda costa estar ausente. Bueno, eh, ¿qué más? Solo eso. Eh, la mayoría vamos a hacer toda la plataforma. Si ustedes están en clase, no es tan necesario que trabajen en la plataforma porque lo hacemos en clase. Pero las que se pierden sí lo tienen que avanzar solos. La ventaja de esta clase grupal es que todo lo que es en la plataforma lo vamos a practicar también en speaking. O sea, lo vamos a llevar al habla. Mientras que si lo hacen ustedes solos, eso no, no se puede. Así que no hay que perdérselo. Y solo eso quizá. Que me enciendan las cámaras, por favor, los que no. Porque a veces hay una persona que está así, bien feliz, hablando con la cámara negra y se sienten incómodos después. Así que quisiera verlos a todos, Tatiana. Y los recuerdo también a veces por rostro más que por nombre. Así que Tatiana, José, ahí está. Oscar y Ana. Mejor, mucho mejor. ¿Ustedes tienen alguna pregunta? ¿Duda? ¿Necesitan sí, yo, ayuda? Yo, yo, yo. Diana. Lo que quisiera saber es cuánto tiempo va a durar el módulo. Ya va a terminar. <ríe> en cuatro semanas. No, no, no. Cuatro semanas. Sí, es un mes. Entonces... Todos son de un mes. Ah, un mes. Okay. Esta semana terminamos el viernes. Eh... ¿Y no es de lunes a jueves? Sí, pero como empezamos martes. Ah, ya. Yeah. Esta yeah. semana en particular, no. La de, de ahí en adelante sí, de lunes a jueves. Así que viernes de la otra semana... Hay personas que se conectan y dicen y que había, no había clase hoy. No, viernes no hay clases, ¿ok? Excepto este viernes, sí hay. Solo este viernes. Este y viernes. entonces, ¿pero el link siempre va a ser el mismo o lo va a estar enviando el grupo? No, siempre es el mismo link. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. okay. Todo es igual. Ok, ¿alguna otra pregunta? Va a dejar tarea. Eh, no. Rara veces. Como una actividad que nos quedemos a medias al final, sí. <coughs> e igual, las tareas son opcionales porque lo que es evaluado es lo que está en la plataforma y la asistencia. Eso, nada más. Lo adicional es para practicar y terminar de aprender ciertos temas. Okay. Solamente una pregunta. Dígame. En el caso de las actividades que tendríamos que realizar dentro de la página... Eh, ¿Se pueden realizar ya sea en el teléfono o solamente en la computadora? Se pueden desde el teléfono. Ah, ok. Desde la computadora, sí, ambos. Okay. Y desde el Muchas sitio gracias. web no necesita descargar nada. ¿Otras dudas? Sí, yo quiero preguntar algo. Yeah. Eh, en el módulo anterior, eh, todo lo trabajábamos aparte, no en la clase. Eran dos horas y no trabajábamos en la plataforma, sino que era un trabajo personal. Ahora, dentro de la clase va a ser el trabajo, de, ¿ha cambiado la metodología o cómo es? No, es, pero esta no es la clase, el, el programa de dos horas, esta es una hora, nada más. Y... Por eso, la metodología es diferente, le pregunto. Sí, vamos a hacer la plataforma durante clase. Ah, y practicar de una vez, porque no, no solo es hacer la plataforma en esa hora, sino practicar speaking y otras actividades de refuerzo de los temas que están en ella. Gracias. Bueno. Otras consultas. Aprovechan el, el paréntesis en español, porque después... Only English. Sí, ya sale en inglés. No, claro, claro. Bueno. Imagino que no, entonces. 
So we're ready. Okay. Uh, the first thing I want you to do is who is this your first class for some of you? Is anybody new in this? Mm. Yeah, I'm new. Yeah, I'm new. Really, you are. Victor, you too? Really? Yeah, yeah. raise your hand. Let me yeah. see. Yeah. Jose, the mm -hmm. first time? Me too. Okay. Yeah, I'm a first time. Good. Well, I hope you can adapt, that you enjoy it, that you learn. Welcome and everybody else too. Even if it's not your first time, I hope that you get to learn a lot this module, right? And that we have fun too by learning. Okay, so the first thing that I want you to do is um, we're going to break the ice by getting to know one another. We're going to talk about basic stuff, all right? So that you see how it works. You're going to ask questions like, where do you live? Okay, where do you work? Um, also, why are you studying English? The other one is, um, where did you learn basic English? All right, because probably you did it with English Corporativo, maybe not. Okay, and finally, what are your hobbies? We're gonna start by discussing these questions, okay? You can take a screenshot, guys. Or I will send it to the WhatsApp group too. So we can discuss what do we have to do with that? that? Sorry? What do we have to do with that? We're going to discuss the questions in small groups. But I'm saying I will send the questions here, okay? To the WhatsApp group. Or try to memorize them. I don't know. Okay, give me one second. I'm sending them to WhatsApp. Here it is. And I will send you an invitation for a breakout room. So let's do that. Give me one second. Uh, uh, uh. Here it is. So everybody, hold on. Yeah. Accept the invitation. Let's discuss. Speak, speak only in English, okay? Go ahead. San Miguel. Uh, San Miguel. San Michael. <laughs> San Michael City. <laughs> Where do you work? I work in Aldeas Infantiles SOS San Miguel. Why are you study English? I study English because I I want to learn more and in order to speak more English because uh, I have a difficult to, to speak more. You have a difficulty? Difficulty, uh -huh. You want to improve your English? Yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome, good, good. Working con Amipe. And you, Victor, where do you work? Okay, sorry. Uh, I'm working right now in from America, Bank. Hey, me too, from America. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people work in from America. You're working from America too? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Where? The, the uh, uh, Where, work. sorry? Uh-huh. In uh, what city? I, or, or? I work oh, in no, no. Centro de Soluciones. Are you, Victor? Yeah, I'm working in Central Solution in it too. No, oh, that's awesome. You guys yes. have to meet there and say hi. Mask. <laughs> With a mask, exactly. Mm. Mask. <laughs> I haven't seen her. 
Never in my life. <laughs> Sorry. I one day. But I'm new. I'm, because I'm new in the company. I, I had just one month of, to be working uh, there. That's why. Me yes. too. I have three, three months. Well, small so work. El Salvador is me. very small. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the fact. What are the odds? Erika, I'll work at SEPA. SEPA, I always forget what it means. Comisión Ejecutiva Portuaria Autónoma. Oh. Comalapa. Uh, no, I work at Ilocuango Airport. I'm an air traffic controller. Wow, that's so nice. <laughs> really? Wow, nice. I want to work <laughs> Congratulations. <in> too. <laughs> okay, awesome. And you, who, who's missing? Anna, I think. I'm working in a public institution and I'm studying English because I, I want to talk and understand better the 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 English and I learn basic English in English corporativo. This is my course and my hobbies: watch um, art, watch movies, and read a book. Watching movies and reading books. Reading books. Okay, okay. very good. And next. Uh, I live in Ciudad Versailles, San Juan Pico. Uh, I work in Contata Group. It's a call center, but it's in Spanish. Uh, I, I study in English because I don't like to, to work in a call center in Spanish because the pay is a <laughs> left. So I want to, 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 learn, to earn more, more money. Uh, I I study in English for Call Center for two weeks, I think. Two and weeks? Basic, Just two yeah. weeks? <laughs> <laughs> because I have a big problem when I was a student in English for Call Center. And so uh, I stopped wow. my, yeah. And my favorite hobby is... Um, um, Listen to music, uh, reading a, a book, and watching movies. So, um, I think um, one of my favorite movies read uh, about, um, um, for example, yeah, yeah. It's reading. It. Okay, very good, very good. Everybody participated already. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I think it's time to go back then. <clears throat> um, all right, well, let's go back. Okay. Hey guys, we are back. Hi. Yeah, a little. Only a few minutes. Oh, sorry. You wanted to continue talking? No, don't worry. <laughs> Did everybody introduce themselves? I only, only me on my group. On my group, only me. But I, I, I can hear the other, my other partners. Hey, Hellington, how are you? <laughs> nice to see you. Hello, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know we what? We were partners on the last. We were partners on the last on the last course. Yeah, a lot of yeah. people are going through that situation. Okay, and so we're gonna start working on the platform right now. Okay, and hold on, hold on. I want to ask some questions. I'm curious now. Everybody, answer quickly. All right, tell me one hobby with ing. Okay, one hobby quickly. Go ahead, everybody. Playing basketball. Uh huh. Continue. Continue. I like cooking. Watching a series. Cooking, watching series. Okay, continue. Watch TV. Watching TV with ING. Mm -hmm. Read any book. Reading. Reading. Running. Reading. Running. Running. Running outside. Dancing. Dancing. Playing guitar. 
studying studying is a hobby for you erica Sometimes <laughs> it depends on uh, what kind of uh, study I'm learning. Yeah, okay. Who plays the guitar? Somebody said play the guitar. Ah, it's Me, there. I'm just starting. Ah, you're <laughs> learning. Okay, that's awesome. Who likes singing? Yeah, I like singing on karaoke. Okay. Karaoke. Yeah, yeah Alan. Sometimes. Who likes singing? Raise your hand if you like singing. Too. Javier, like Andy. Sing. Yeah. Andy. Okay. Sometimes. Well, you have to plan a karaoke hangout one day or something. Yeah. <laughs> I like singing. I love singing. I will show you yeah. later. Yeah. Nice. All right. And another question. Who lives in San Salvador? Raise your hand. Nope. Salvador? Nope. <gasps> Where do you guys live? Uh, Santa Tecla? I live in San Marcos. Nope. I live in San Salvador. Hey, San Marcos. I, I, live in I San work there. Hey, San Juan Opico. Who lives in San Juan Opico? I, 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 I'm from San Juan Opico, but I live Javier. right now in Colón. Ah, yeah. I live Javier in Ciudad Versailles. Ah, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome. And the next question is, where do you work? I work in Contact Group. Dominica Contact Group. Unicomer. I, I work in Aldeas Infantiles. Aldeas Infantiles, okay. All right. Very good. Well, let's start with the platform. Um, here it is. Okay, Intermediate 1. Bye-bye, basics, beginners. <laughs> All right, we're not intermediate. Let's read the objective. Go ahead, uh, Raul. Yeah. Read the objective. Go ahead. Uh, by the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past using was, where, and various regular and irregular verbs. And permit. And I'm middle. Verbs, <laughs> <laughs> uh, E. G. Example. I was born, uh, I, uh -huh, example. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years uh, ago. Okay. We're going to leave the examples there. Mm, okay. So right now, guys, we're going to work with was, let me see, with the verbs in the past. Do you remember the verbs in the past? Yeah, a little. Some of them. Not all. Not all of them. Okay, yeah. we're gonna practice, all right? And I will try to help you with this. What I need you to do right now, look, do you guys have a notebook with you? You have a notebook? Yeah. A piece of paper? Aunque sea un ticket de la tienda, no? Something, all right. And a pen, right? I would like you to write down, imagine, um, well, Hay videos que son como de 10 minutos. No sé si algunos ya estuvieron antes y hay videos de 10 minutos. Pero ustedes imagínense que están en una clase así en la universidad o algo y escuchan pero van anotando lo importante. Porque si no, literal, ya se me ha dormido alguien en un video de 10 minutos y está ahí dormido, dormido. <risa> así que, y se duerme, no aprende. Pero, pero si están escribiendo, están más como engaged. I don't know how to say that in Spanish. Más involucrado, creo que así se diría. Ok, so let's watch. All right, take notes, please. Here we go. En todas las clases hagamos eso, por fin. All right, here we go. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the past using regular and irregular verbs. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English back then. Let me get started by presenting the structure. In our previous class, we discussed how to make positive and negative statements 
using the verb to be in the past. So we talked about the left side of this chart, as you can see there. And we also talked about making yes and no questions in the past. In today's lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of this whole thing together. And we're going to try to use both ways of talking about the past with the verb to be and with other verbs, such as move. And so we're going to focus on creating statements, either positive or negative, as you can see there. Uh, that's the one that I had given earlier. I moved here 10 years ago. And we're also going to talk about making negative statements in the past, such as I didn't speak English then. Finally, what we're going to do is we're going to make questions in the past. And the whole goal here is to be able to use both ways of talking about the past, either with the verb to be, as you can see, it's slightly different, and also using the auxiliary did. Let me get started by making sense of the statements that we see towards the right side of this chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the formula real fast. In order for us to make sentences in the past, particularly positive sentences in the past, we're going to have a subject. And then that is going to be followed by a verb, the verb in its past form. And then that is going to be followed by a complement. So if I write down the example that we see on the very top, um, which says, I moved here 10 years ago. Well, we can clearly see the subject is I. I'm going to go ahead and try to color that in green. Then we can see that the verb is moved. Notice that I have to change that to the past. For most verbs, we will simply add ed. That's what we call regular verbs. And for irregular verbs, um, then for those, you simply have to remember what they are. So for example, we have the verb teach, and then the past of that verb is taught. But I'll be talking about regular and irregular verbs in a different class. I also want to write down another quick example here. So I'm going to say, I took English classes for a year. And then once again, what I want you to notice is what happens at the bottom. I want you to notice that we have a subject, and I color that in green. And then we have some sort of verb, and then that is going to be colored in red. And then the complement, um, as you can see, English classes for a year. Let me talk about making negative statements. Okay, how is this part so far? Is it clear, confusing? How do you feel with this? Clear. Okay. It's clear? Clear. Okay, that's good. Clear. So you remember that. I'm going to send you the list of irregular verbs so that you memorize. And then once again, what? Oops, so that you memorize 50 of them at least, okay? And the first thing I want you I want you to practice, I sent an image to the group, but pay attention here, okay? I want you to practice first with was and where. Hold on. Okay. First of all, I want us to practice something very simple, was and where, okay? When are you going to use was, guys? By the way, the pronunciation of this is was. Okay, when are you going to use was? With what subjects? I, you, he, she, I, they? I, 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 he, she, it, or he, I, he, she, she it, are going to use was. was. Okay, when are you going to use where? They, they, they. Mm -hmm. we, we, it, mm -hmm. they, and you, 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 yes. are you you're going to use where. You. That's it. We and only. Okay, was and where is the past of what verb? To be. Is the past of the verb be. Exactly. This is what I want you to practice right now in the question form. So if the sentence says, find someone, find someone who, look at the image, all right? And it would say, find someone who was at work, for example, who was at work yesterday at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. So here we have was. 
Now I would need you to ask the question. How do you ask the question? Ask me the question, guys. If you want to know if I was at work at 8 a.m. yesterday, what do you say? Who was at work yesterday at 8 a.m.? Uh -huh. No, but I would like you Are to you? ask. That's good. That's good. But I would like you to ask a yes, no question. Okay. Who was? Who was? Do you do you was at work? Uh -huh. you... Hold on. Is this okay, guys? Do you no. work? No, sir. Uh, uh, did you was? Did you was? Did you was? No, sorry. No, it's not did you was either. Mm -mm. There's another one. Did you was? Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Did you work? Yesterday? Sorry. Hold on. Did Let you me help you. Yesterday? I think it's confusing. All right. Let's start with the basics. So pay attention to this. This is the verb be, okay? So I'm gonna give you something very simple. I will tell you. You are happy. You, the students, are happy. Okay, how do I ask you this question? Was you? Are you happy? Sorry? Are you happy? Are Was you, you happy? No, it's present simple right now. So it oh, would be, are sorry. you happy? No, it's okay, it's okay, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean that. You, you were happy. are happy. Wait, wait, wait. You got it, right? Creo que le agarraron. Por eso me lo están diciendo de un solo. Espérense, espérense. Ya llego. Okay, you are happy and are you happy. Entonces, si el, el, el pasado es was, es la misma, ¿ok? Vamos a decir, you were happy. ¿Cómo es la pregunta? Ahora sí. Were you happy? Yes, thank you, thank you. Were you happy? So, how do I ask this question? Voy a empezar con What's did, you, con do, no, ¿verdad? Was no. Yes, okay. Was, was you at work yesterday? Is this okay? Were you, uh, were you at work? Where were you? you? Very good. That is no, the where, answer. Where you? Were you at work yesterday at 8 a.m.? 8 a.m. Right. That's the answer. Very good. So all the questions that you're gonna practice right now are supposed to start with where you, okay? All the questions. What is the second question in, in the image? Would you find someone? Mm -hmm. Find someone who was at home all day yesterday. How do I ask that question? Check the image, guys. I don't know if you have it. It's on WhatsApp. Was at the beach yesterday. Wait. Yeah, the first WhatsApp? one says was at the beach yesterday. Fun. Ah, oh, wait. I, I got it. Uh -huh, yeah. Check the image. Hold Fun. on. Sorry, guys. We're using the, the one. Was he? Okay, this one. We're working with. Okay. What is number was one? Was he um, all day was he at the beach yesterday? Was he? We're going to say, were you? because we're going to ask directly. Nos vamos a hacer la pregunta directamente, okay? Were you at the beach yesterday? Were you at the beach, at the beach yesterday? Uh -huh. And how do I answer the question? Yes. Yes, I were. Yes, yes. I was. Yes, I was. Or no. I was. I wasn't. No, I wasn't, okay? That is the activity. So discuss the questions but make it a question, all right? And ask, Jose, were you at the beach? Ellington, were you home all day yesterday? Oscar, did, were you uh, at the park? <laughs> Is that clear? Okay. I okay. think it's clear, all right. If not, I will be there to help you or try to help one another, okay? So let's work with different people and use the image. Ask questions, ready? Okay, okay. Invitation, please, here we go. Here we go. No sé si me escuchan bien, pero está lloviendo fuerte aquí en mi casa y no oigo mucho. A usted se le escucha bien. We can hear you. Yo casi no los escucho porque está lloviendo fuerte. 
Okay. Hi, Oscar. Hi. <laughs> okay. So, sorry, Esther. sorry. It's there. So, what is the first question? Ask them. Say, Oscar, were you or Oscar, Oscar were you at the beach yesterday? No, I don't. No, I wasn't. I, no, I wasn't. Sorry. Okay. And ask Osmin, Esther. Osmin, yeah. were you at the beach yesterday? Oh, I wasn't. Very good. Okay, now Oscar, next question. Uh, is there uh, I read the, the question? Mm -hmm. You have to make it a question. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, is there um, the word is you? Uh -huh. Were you? Yeah. Were you at the beach yesterday? You, yeah. Yeah. Was. Uh, no, I were. No, I were. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Say, yes, no, I, wasn't. I was. No, I wasn't. In no, the I wasn't. Yeah. Were you? Okay. Were you and so on. Okay. okay. The the next. Uh, were you at home all day yesterday, Ellington? Uh, yes, I was in my case. Were, yeah, you? Yes, I you? was. And you guys? No, yeah. I was. Yes, yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. You're working because from I home? work from my home. Ah, okay. Very good. Yes. So, yeah. Okay. For the next question. I was. Okay. Okay, Eli, Eli, Eli de Rivera. Uh, were you happy yesterday? Yes, I was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Say yes. Hello? Were you yes, happy? I, I think that I, I, all the time I, I'm happy. You are always happy. Oh, that's so good. What is the secret, Jose, to being always happy? Mm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe because I work all the time at home. So in this moment, for me, it's, it's happy to work at home. So. Oh, really? <laughs> it's the opposite for me. I need to go out. <laughs> so it's very it. happy work on the bed. <laughs> Well, that too. And you, Tatiana, were you happy yesterday? Yesterday. Mm -hmm. I remember. Yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Very good. Next question. Um, yes, I was. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Why? Yeah. Where? No, where? I I I quest to Erica. When you at the cinema Erica. yesterday? No, I wasn't. <laughs> at the cinema yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Was the teacher at the school? <laughs> Was at H A M yesterday? <laughs> Yes, I I was. Yeah, I was at the school <laughs> because I am a teacher. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, Spanish teacher, Spanish teacher. <laughs> oh, where do you work? In Champañat, Colegio Champañat in Santa Tecla. Yeah, I remember. It's located near the the Central Market, right? Mm, is no, no it, it's from Cafe Talon. Mm -hmm. Near it's Cafe, from Talon. Cafe Talon. Yes. Champagne. Okay. All right. Next question. 
Victor, were in a car at 7 a.m. yesterday? I guess. <laughs> yes, I was. Sandra Veronica, were, were happy yesterday? Were you happy? Were you, were you happy yesterday? Yes, I was, but I am happy every day. I know. Oh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> what do you say in materia? Subject. I don't remember. Subject. O materia que? Materia, materia como por ejemplo, ella dice que es maestra. Y le quería preguntar qué materia imparte. What subject do you teach? Uh, oh, subject. I subject science. science. I am a science, science. science. teacher. Oh, yes. Very smart woman. <laughs> Okay, uh, ask a question, Victor. Ask the next, the next question. Go ahead. Uh, let me see. Erika, was, was you? Sí, es que estuve en la escuela de idiomas del Ricaldone. Pero, eh, obviamente, la metodología como era presencial muy diferente entonces yo lo a mí lo que más me cuesta es hablarle entonces no se me vienen las palabras a la cabeza pero no las puedo no me salen de la boca <laughs> you're gonna practice speaking in this course yes so, I, I try we finish this the all the sentences okay all the question great we're gonna go back then Hello. Okay. So, was and where is clear, right? Okay. Is it? Yes? Yes or no? Yes. All right. Very good. Now, we're going to practice something else. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to find that. So, I just want to make sure you are saying all the questions, guys, were supposed to be were you, not was you, okay? Algunos, I heard some people say was you, but no, guys. Were you, and the answers are always yes, I was, or no, what? I wasn't, or no, I was not, okay? Those are the answers. Now, I want you to practice yes or no questions, but this time not with was and where. This time we're gonna practice with did, okay? But let me say this. Okay, esto que acabamos de practicar es un verbo nada más. Para todos los otros verbos vamos a usar did, okay? O sea, este was and where ya no lo usan a menos que, que bueno, sea para el pasado de, de, de verb be, but in, for every other verb you have to use did, okay? For example, you're gonna say, did you study yesterday, okay? Did you go to bed late? All the questions are gonna be yesterday or last night, okay? You go to bed late, did you eat lunch? We're gonna discuss this quickly. Did you study English, all right? Did you read all the questions, okay? Did you exercise? And did you go out? Okay, these are the questions. For example, guys, I'm gonna say, did you study? Did you study yesterday or last night? What do you think is the right one? Did you study? Did you study? Yesterday or last night? Last night. Yes, last night. Very good. Next one. Did you go to bed late yesterday or last night? Yesterday. Mm -hmm. last, night. last night. 
last day, night. Day is last during the day. Last okay. night. The last night is during the night. It's okay. night. Uh -huh, exactly. It's different in English. You say today and you say tonight. And I said tonight we have classes. All right, not today. Okay. okay. Tonight. Okay, so okay. if I ask you, for example, Erika, did you study last night? What is the answer? Short answer. Short. Yes, I did. Yeah, uh -huh, exactly. You say yes, I did. Or no? I don't. I didn't. Or uh -huh, no? I didn't. I didn't. I did not. No, I didn't. Uh -huh, exactly. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. All right. Why? Because we're studying the verb study, go, eat, read, exercise, different verbs. Okay. Solo para el verbo be usamos ser estar, usamos was and were. Ahora vamos a practicar todos los otros verbos. Okay. Con did. Uh, so simply ask and answer the questions. Is that clear? Discuss the questions. Ready? Yeah. Take a screenshot. I will send them to the group too. Let's answer the questions. And with that, we'll finish. All right. So, <laughs> all right, take a screenshot. Okay, okay, yeah. Let me make the groups here. Not yet, not yet. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. It's like when they say, no borre, no borre. <laughs> In class. So, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to make smaller groups. Okay, no, this is good. Okay, if you're ready, accept the invitation. Here we go. Tatiana, did you go to bed late uh, last night? Yes, I did. Um, oh, yes, I go to bed. No, yes, I did. No, yes, I did. It's a short yes, I did. answer. Yes, I did. Her answer. Yes, I did or no, I didn't. Simple as that. And you, Ellie, and you, Anna, you have to ask everybody. Okay. Okay. But we need to 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 use yesterday or, or last night, and this. No, because these are those are uh, short answers. Ah, yes, okay. I did. No, I don't. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. The only Hi, Miss. Yes, how are you? Hi. <laughs> hey, you scare me. Don't do that. <laughs> Okay, you simply have to say yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Only that. That's it. Okay. But everybody answered the question. Everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. All right, what's the next question? Erica, did, did you? you Hold on. Osmi? No, I didn't. And you, Alan? Uh, yes, I did. Okay, very good. You finished the questions? No, not yet. No. Did you go out, Osmi? Me, did okay. you go out? Uh, no, I didn't. And you, what about you, Erica? Yes, I. I, I will start. Oh, okay, so for, for Victor, did you, did you study English uh, last night? Oh, yes, I did. Really? I don't trust you. <laughs> I don't believe you. Where? Okay. Where did you study, Victor? We were studying in corporate English. Last night? We didn't have classes last night. Last night. No. <laughs> no, but we have some. You had a meeting. Yeah. Okay. That counts. A meeting. Okay. I don't. I wasn't there. I wasn't. I wa I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next question. Uh, I did. I. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay. Sandra, did you did you cook 
the lunch yesterday? Mm, no, I didn't because my mother cooked. <laughs> and you, Raul, did you cook lunch yesterday? Yesterday, uh, yes, yes, I, yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I cook, I cook yesterday. Ooh, very good. Ya se puede casa. I cook to get married. tortillas. <laughs> I cook tortillas with cheese. Mm, very delicious. <laughs> I can hear you. It, it's raining. Uh, in San Miguel, it's raining too. Boo. <laughs> Hello again. Okay. Easy, right? Easy peasy? Yeah. Yes. Okay, we have studied two things tonight. We studied how to make how to make a yes no questions. We studied how to make yes no questions in the past. Okay, that is what we learned tonight, basically. Now, tomorrow, what we have to study is how to make affirmative statements in the past, but with regular verbs, okay? Regular, okay. Exactly. What do you have to add? Okay, if I want, if I say, I, if I say the verb study, what is the past of study, guys? I studied. Study. Study. Uh -huh. Study. Study. Why? Why do I change this I for this, this Y for this I? Regular, because she's a regular girl. It's regular. So if, okay, but hold on. What about this? What is the past of this verb? Enjoy. 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 Like, like this? Enjoy. Enjoy. Or like this? No. No. Like this? Perfect. Uh -huh. Bueno, ¿y por qué cambia acá la Y y acá no? Porque en una está el consonante no, y en la de abajo es vocal. Okay, so so no, en la Y. Very good. It's consonant, consonant plus Y. You have y. to change the Y. If it's vowel I, plus I, I, Y, you don't change it. You don't replace it. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. okay. I will take a screenshot. So this is the, the explanation. So in general, you have to add ed to make a verb past. To make it to make a verb into the past. Okay. A regular, a regular yes, verb. regular verbs. Regular verbs, you simply add ed. Ed, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I have one more question because we're gonna practice this tomorrow, but I want to make sure we, we know the rules, okay? This verb, a hog, this is the present. What is the past of the verb? Hog is like this, guys. You kiss or hog, for example. What is the past? Regular. Oh, oh good. Oh. Oh, yes. One G or double G? Double G. Double Why? G. Why is it double G? You don't know? The next okay, look. No, for one syllable act, for one syllable verse ending in C V C. What is the meaning of C V C? Consonant book. Vowel consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant. In this case, you're going to double the syllable. You see this? What is this? Consonant or vowel? Consonant. This? Vowel. 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 Consonant. How many syllables? Hug. One syllable. One syllable. So you have to double this G. Okay. That is the other rule. 
Tomorrow we will practice this. Do you have any questions? No, oh, I haven't. No, no, I don't. Okay. Let's do some of them. Okay, in this case, we will practice this tomorrow, but you, let's do this one. Um, uh, let me see. Ellington, number one, how would you do this one? Ellington, you're on mute. Okay, Javier, how would you do number one? A river, a river. You? A river. All right. All right. All right. This, simply you add right. D, right? That's it. Yes. That's the only difference. You arrived in England last week. Okay, Jose Contreras, number two. My mom, you're on mute. My mom studied Russian. And I changed the Y, right? Yeah. Okay, next, very good. Uh, Sandra? Yes, here we have a combination, right? Weren't and phoned. So this is very simple. You basically only add ED. That's it. Okay. Any questions about this? Or you're ready to practice tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Plan, invited, carried, finished, chat, chat. Yeah, okay, what I can help you with is the pronunciation of the regular verbs. We will see that later, okay? okay? Well, I have to go now and you have to go, guys. It's time. Um. So please send me your name, first and last name to WhatsApp to add you to my <clears> contacts, okay? okay? And I hope to see everybody tomorrow, okay? okay. 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 Thank you very much, guys. Good Have a good night. Good night, good night everybody. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Nice. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye.